Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Karin and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be setting up my July weekly pages, which is covering Monday the 28th of June to Sunday the 1st of August. I actually also set up a weekly spread for last week, so the 21st to the 27th of June, just because I was finding I wasn't using the layouts that I set up in my last journal, and I was honestly just too eager to get into this one. As I like to do every month, I'm continuing with my monthly theme when it comes to my weekly layouts. So as my theme for July is books, I'm doing the same for these weeklies. That includes using repeating elements like the same types of doodles, the same colour palette. So that's using my navy, dark red and dark green colour palette with touches of gold, courtesy of my Calero Fine Tech watercolours and the new Archer and Olive metallic acrylograph pens. I've also used the navy paper from the June Archer and Olive subscription box, but of course everything that I've used as per usual can be found in the description box below. One of the biggest issues that I had for the layouts I set up in June was that they really didn't feel cohesive, so I especially wanted to make sure that I had that cohesive feeling when it came to these pages. I do very much feel that I've been able to achieve that by keeping all of those common elements, and I'm looking at my June pages as more of a learning experience. Although those pages didn't really work out, they did teach me something about the way that I like to journal. Or at least confirmed something I already suspected. <laughs> for our first weekly here though, you can see I have a space for each day of the week, a space for my priorities, and a place to put in a meal log. This one took me about 31 minutes from first touch of the pen to final erasings. But as always, this doesn't include idea generation time, or the time taken to sketch things out, or to cut out those strips of paper. Flipping on over though, and we are on to the second weekly layout. This one's going to be for my final week of term two. In terms of timing, this one was the quickest to set up, coming in at 12 minutes. Each page in this setup is divided into two columns, so the outer column being a little bit wider and the inner column being a little bit narrower. The outer column is where I've got my daily checklists and also my priority section, while the inner columns are going to be for my events list and meal log. I didn't include any extra decoration on this spread because I figure the last week of term is probably going to be pretty busy, so I'm most likely going to end up needing to use all of this space to write down my to-dos. But here's the nice simple layout for the busy week. On to our next spread, and this one is going to be housing two weeklies. Rather than them being one page weeklies, I'm instead having a space for my meal log for both weeks on the left hand page, and then a space for all of my to-dos on the right. These are going to be the first two weeks of my holiday break, where I'm in theory going to be away, so I figured I wasn't going to need a lot of space to write down tasks. So having just the one page for the entire of two weeks should be fine. To add a bit of structure to that to-do list though, I do go in and add in some headers for Jashi Karin, school, home and personal tasks. In terms of timing, this one took about 28 minutes from first touch of the pen to final erasings. But I don't think that's too bad for a spread that has two weeks on it. Over the page though, and we're on to the next setup for July, which is going to be the third week of my holidays. On this one, I just have a mini calendar, a section for each day of the week, and some decoration in the form of book doodles. This layout is certainly a bit more decoration heavy compared to the other ones, and this did add to the time taken, so this spread took about an hour to set up. Again, not including penciling in, idea generation, or cutting out of the blue pieces of paper. Also, just as a reminder, I do still have my 20k giveaway going on, so as a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel, I'm offering two lucky winners an Archer and Olive product of their choosing. If you wanted to be in to win that, do make sure to check out the link in the description box below. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty chuffed with how the weekly spreads for July turned out, but I think the real winner in this is the colour combination of the navy and the gold. This is certainly one of my favourite colour combinations, so I'm excited to be using it again in my journal. This brings us to the question of the day for you guys, what is your favourite colour combination? It could be journaling related, or just general life related. Another favourite would have to be the pink and green that I used in my start of journal setup but this navy and gold combination is a real winner for me. Having a flip through of the weeklies that I have in my journal so far though, we've got the one that I used last week. We have the first full week of July. The second week, which will be my last week of the term. 
the layout that has two weeklies for the first two weeks of my holidays, and the one for the last week of July, which will be my last week of holidays. As I said, I'm pretty chuffed with how these layouts turned out. I really enjoy using different styles of weekly, and the majority of the ones I set up in this video, I haven't used before. Hopefully you guys found today's video interesting or enjoyable, and if you did, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you hadn't already and felt so inclined, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. And until next time, bye!